For this balloon, you're gonna use three 260s. I have the dark blue, red, and diamond clear. Blow the red and dark blue up about the same. There's gonna be somewhere around eight fingers lengths left, so right about there. Don't need a ton of air in those. And then you're gonna blow up that diamond clear all the way. That's gonna be for the web. All right, start with either the blue or red and do a one inch bubble. Make another one about the same size or smaller. Pinch twist that. And then make a one and a half to two inch bubble there. Probably about one and a half. Make another small bubble there and that's gonna be for the knee. So we're starting with the leg here. And then the top of the leg, and do a little bit bigger balloon there. So about three fingers length in the bubble. And then do one more pinch twist. And that's going to finish off the dark blue leg. Okay, you're going to repeat the same exact process for the red one. And I just like to take a look at the dark blue one that I just made so that I'm getting the size of each of these bubbles exactly the same. That way it just looks nice when the legs are next to each other. So I'll grab that and take a look. I want it to be close enough. So right there. That looks good. Okay, one inch bubble there for the knee. And then the next bubble is about three fingers across. And then one more one inch or smaller bubble that you're going to pinch twist. All right, so grab that first leg that you just had. And then bring them side by side there to match up. And then you're going to twist those balloons together right there. And then this next section is going to be the center body right about there, about five fingers. All right, so this next part you wanna use the red and this will be for the head. So make a loop twist right there. Don't wanna make it too big, otherwise it looks kinda of funny. So twist that in and then bring the arm straight out so you're ready to finish those off. I like to do it about there and then another small bubble that I'm gonna pinch twist, and this is for the elbow. And then I like to make this next section a little smaller than the forearm, or than the upper arm. And then one last small bubble for the pinch twist on the end. And then I'm gonna take that extra piece off there. Okay, make sure to tie that in so you don't let the air out. All right, now you're gonna do the same exact thing on the red arm there as the blue one. And I just like to take a look at the blue one as I'm doing it so I get the same exact sizes. And just a note on the arms, don't make them too long. If the features are too big, it just looks kind of funny. All right, so we have the elbow the forearm there, it's a pretty small bubble, and then a little bubble that we're going to pinch twist for the hand. All right, we're going to pull off that excess there, just like we did on the dark blue. Pop that off. All right, make sure you tie that into place. And I don't want you guys to miss this, but push that extra piece through right under there. That's gonna lock it in. Because I've noticed this hand will come undone on that last pinch twist. Do the same on the dark blue if you haven't already. Push that through. All right, and that finishes off the body of Spider-Man. All right, grab that diamond clear there that's blown up all the way clear balloon. And you can just pick one of the arms and then just wrap it around the fist there. I like to bring it around a couple times and then I'm going to push it through right in there so it locks it into place. All 
All right, so it's gonna look like that. It's a nice little extra feature there. And then I'm gonna grab my Sharpie and we're gonna draw on the eyes there of the mask. These are gonna be kind of like teardrops that are curved a little bit. So it looks like Spider-Man. And I just do a little spider on the front and the back. Pretty simple. Do one there on the back as well. All right, and that is Spider-Man. Nice work, guys. Looks great.